Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here back with another video. And today, oh my God, do I have a treat for you guys. This is the Specialized S-Works Creo SL 2021. This bike comes in at $14,000 and uh, it weighs in at 29 pounds, seven ounces and a size large with the battery on there. I'll get to that in a little bit, what this does and everything like that about this bike, but this is an E road bike. So as you can see right here, you do have the power control right here. You have your mission control app. I'll kind of get into everything about there. Kind of go over range and stuff like that, but let's just take in the beauty of this bike. I mean, this paint job is absolutely insane. It's kind of like that gloss Peter Sagan look. It's like a chrome grayish logo, but this thing looks gorgeous. You have the mat up top. Um, but yeah, $14,000 is what this thing goes for. It does come with some nice stuff, so we'll get into all the technology. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll jump right into it. So. With the bike, when you get into it for $14,000, this is their E road bike series, um, the Creo SL. Pretty lightweight for a road bike. It's only pedal assist. And uh, what they claim is that it's gonna give you about like 20% power back into it. So whatever you're putting out, plus 20%. So this is gonna be for that rider who, like there's riders that when I started riding, the older guys that whoop my butt. Um, and then when now, you know, 10, 15, 20 years later down the road, uh, they're, they're kind of getting up there in age, like 65, 70, 75, 80, I got some riders out there who want to compete in those group rides, but their legs don't let them, so they can still have that competitive edge. They know how to ride, they know how to shift, they know how to climb, it's just that they can't keep up. So this will kind of keep them in there. And this workout is still insane. I took this thing to Sugarloaf, I took this thing on a group ride before. Not this exact same bike, but I've taken this bike to group rides and it's still a crazy workout. You have to be in the right gear or else the motor won't work. It does have a cadence sensor, so you can't just put it into the hardest gear and just pedal through. You have to be shifting at the right times to get it. So if you go on a climb and just expect to power through it, no. You have to be right in the side of that kind of gear and you have to kind of put out some kind of cadence to it. So, uh, uh, but yeah, the bike is absolutely insane. So with this model right here, you are gonna get the SRAM XX1 Eagle. So you're getting a 1050 in the back. So 12 speeds in the back, 10 gear in the bottom, 50 tooth up top. Um, this is the mountain bike SRAM Axis Electronic Shifting. Um, and then the front chink, uh, crank right here is a one by, it's a 46 tooth up front. And you have that black Eagle chain right here as well, which looks great. And then to top it all off, you do have the Praxis crank arms, which are carbon. These are proprietary to this motor. The beautiful thing, oh, look at that paint right there. Oh my gosh, hold on one second, sorry guys. That thing was gorgeous when the sun hits it. The beautiful thing about these crank arms though, or this motor, is that to service it or to swap it out or any kind of warranty issues you have with it, I've played, replaced one of these already. It's very easy to change. Um, nothing about it's hard. It literally, you can drop off this bike to a specialized dealer within 10, 20 minutes, it'll be done. So very cool feature on there. Um, but yeah, so you get a 46 tooth carrying up front, you get a 1050 in the rear, um, and that's gonna be the gearing on there. You do have the SRAM red shifters on here too. So this will be 12 speed. So you have a SRAM red shifter, SRAM red shifter. And then right here as well, you do have the um, SRAM red calipers. I know it says SRAM rival, but it is a SRAM red caliper. And the center lock disc brakes are going to be the, the SRAM CLX 160 front, 160 rear for those bigger climbs. Um, going on to the wheels. Now this bike is going to be their, their, uh, thank you bird, Jesus Christ. This bike is going to be their um, only road boost capability. So the wheels are a boost. It's a road boost setting. So not a lot of wheels will fit this. That's why they spec it with their new Revolve Terra CLX. I don't know if you can see that. And these are road boost based. So it's 110 in the front and 148 in the rear. So these wheels will only work with this bike. Uh, these wheels do come in. I got you a little sheet right here. So uh, 25 millimeter internal width uh, de de delivers a uh, stable ride, blah, blah, blah. Total wheel set weight, 1,294 grams, which is crazy. And then plus the lifetime warranty, no fault crash replacement, which is great for the Terras. These are a 32 millimeter depth, um, which is insane. And then, yeah, so if you, if you did want to change out these wheels, you can't change it to like a zip or nothing like that unless it's a specific road boost spacing. So make sure you know that. Um, the seat post is going to be the Roval uh, Carbon Alpinist seat post. And then the, you get the SRX Power as well, a $300 saddle, of course. It is a $14,000 bike. You are getting a SRX Hoover bar or hover bar. So it is a 20 millimeter rise right here. Very lightweight though. And then you're getting the S-Works future stem as well, titanium bolts. It does come with the integrated stem on here as well. 
and the integrated, I'm sorry, the Garmin mount. So if you want to add a light, the mount is included. All the Creo SLs are going to come with a Future Shock. This is a Future Shock 2.0. It is hydraulic. You can lock it out if you don't want this thing to move. So with the hydraulic setting on here, I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to leave it all the way open. The shock is going to engage. If you hit some bumps, you can lock it out or dampen it even more. And now this thing won't move. It's going to be completely stiff, which is great. Um, battery time and mileage. They claim that this bike by itself will get 80 miles, you know, going full on all you got, whatever you can do. But they also include this external battery that you can plug in and keep with you. Let's see a little wire right here, go on this side. And what this wire is going to do when you plug it in, it gives you 40 miles of extra battery time. So if you do have any issues at all while charging, um, you can go ahead and uh, plug that thing on in and you got a total of 120 miles, which I think is great, uh, a great addition. So right here you have the power to turn on. Go ahead and just press it. I think it might be dead. I'm sorry, guys. Well, it stinks. Press that power button. It turns on. You have three different modes. It's going to be one, two, and three. Um, you have a uh, eco mode, a regular mode, and a turbo mode. Turbo mode will give you the fastest power output on there. But, man, does that color look great. Looks absolutely insane. Specialized also does include for $14,000. You do get uh, a tubeless setup. You get tubeless fluid. The rims are tubeless ready. The tires are a 700 by 30. So that's gonna be very comfortable. You have a motor, so you don't really have to worry about tire width on there. Um, and also, which I thought was really cool, which I've never seen done before, but I'll take you guys over here. It's kind of like a car. It has the tire pressure settings on here. So if you put in a certain PSI or a certain tire size, you got it, which I think is really cool because you know it's an electric vehicle. They want you to be safe while riding. They want to make sure that you have the right settings on there. So I thought that was really nice, and especially if you run tubeless, that is a nice feature. Um, but that is a big plus. I mean, granted, it's $14,000, so absolutely insane the price of a bike, but that is a nice plus that they give that to you for the cost of the bike because before, if you bought the SRX model, it was extra. So, you know, spending 14 grand, you better get something nice. Um, so we got the Revol Terras CLX, which are going to be a custom wheel designed only for this road boost spacing. These wheels will not work on any other bike unless it's road boost spacing. They are a lifetime warranty. And then you have their S-Works 11R carbon as well. This frame is full carbon as well. Uh, it's not the 12R carbon, but it is 11R carbon. And then you have the Future Shock 2.0, uh, obviously included. So with this as well, when you do get this bike, sorry, when you do get this bike, make sure that, because this comes on here like this, make sure whatever store, they do have to update this firmware. Any specialized dealer who sells turbo can update this. You do have to plug this into a computer to make this work. This will not work unless you update this firmware. And also you can see right here, you have the Mission Control app, which is pretty cool. You actually pair this with your Specialized Turbo. And then once you start pairing this with your phone, this will give you power meter saying you can actually dial in. Let's say you want to go a certain distance. Let's say you want to ride 160 miles, but you only have these two things. You can set that distance and it'll preload the setting of the battery usage for you to allow you to use that distance and only give you like a governor on the battery which is absolutely insane. So a lot of cool things you can do with this Mission Control app. It'll tell you lifetime of the battery. It'll tell me how many uses you got out of it. It'll give you how strong the battery signal is, all that stuff like that. So very cool feature on the Mission Control app. Specialized, definitely doing some innovating, which they should be for $14,000. Again, that's a huge price tag. But this bike is decked out to the fullest, to the T. So let me know what you guys think. This again, I'll just do a little recap. 2021 Specialized Creo SL. Um, Retails for $14,000. This large comes in at 29 pounds, six ounces, I think it was. 29 pounds, eight ounces, somewhere around there. I said in the beginning. But yeah, absolutely beautiful bike. Insane. It does come with tubeless fluid. It does come with the battery charger. It does come with the external battery, which is huge. 80 miles on the range without the battery. 40 miles extra external battery. Carbon seat post, S-Works power saddle, S-Works carbon bars. You got their S-Works Future Stem, which will have the integrated Garmin mount or a Wahoo mount or whatever you want to use. You do have the Ceram Run shifters and then the Revol Terra CLX wheels. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.